Let the weak say I am strong. It's how Noelle Borders remembers her mom by singing one of her favorite songs. Me and my mom were best friends. To her family, she was Marcy Borders. To the world, the dust lady. Nobody knows the real story. This is the image of Borders minutes after the first of the Twin Towers fell. She had climbed down 81 flights of stairs to escape the North Tower. She said first she saw papers flying out the window, chairs, and then she saw people and she just started running. So she left everything and ran because her main goal was me. Noelle was just eight that day. Now 22, she's had to say goodbye to her mother. Marcy Borders died of stomach cancer at the end of August. She was 42. What does this loss mean to you? <sighs> we talked with Marcy Borders' sister, Dawn, brother, Michael, and her daughter, Noelle, just two days after they had laid her to rest. They'll never forget the stories she told about escaping the Twin Towers. She just was wiping her eyes, and some man handed her a bottle of water and was like, are you OK? But that image didn't show the long-term damage. Oh, Lord, I just wish that I could just have a peace of mind. Ever since that day, she hated New York. She never wanted to go back in there. She didn't trust a lot of people after that. Depression, drug abuse, and like alcohol. But I really didn't see that. Yeah, she never like let us see it. She eventually found hope. She wanted God, she went to church two times a day. She left all of that in the past and she just focused on her daughter. Then when her son came, that was it. Zayden was born seven years ago. Borders regularly attended Narcotics Anonymous and kept working on putting her life back together. My mom had went away for treatment and then she came back and she was ready to go for senior prom. You look beautiful, I love you. The life of the party, a person that was outgoing, encouraging, and focused and motivated. Then like a couple of years later, she used to always tell me she had pain in her stomach. It was cancer, possibly caused by her exposure to toxins on 9-11, but she managed to carry on for more than a year. My sister didn't live her life like she had cancer. She still wanted to party. When I was home last, she said, we're gonna go to Atlantic City, we're gonna turn up. The well-known Bayonne, New Jersey native was even in a campaign commercial for a city council candidate. Do the trade for the citizens, right? In my opinion, I felt like she decided when she wanted to go. Cancer didn't decide when they wanted to take her. She passed away August 24th. I don't think it really has hit me yet. How can you cry? when someone lived their life as wonderful as she did. I'm gonna remember my sister as Marcy Ortis, not the dust lady, Marcy. But the tributes from across the world on social media show how widely known that image became. Marcy Borders will always be an iconic face of 9-11. It makes me feel good because her story never dies, it will forever live on. Her story doesn't end here, it's me. Like she always says, where the dust lady stops is where her daughter starts. In Bayonne, New Jersey, James Ford, Pix11 News.